I'm Dr. Trish Byers. I'm the Collections Manager of the Duckworth Laboratory at the Center for Human Evolutionary Studies in the Department of Archaeology. The Duckworth Collection is one of the largest collections of human remains and non-human primate remains. Today, we're going to be talking about biological anthropology. Anthropology is the study of humans in the past and in the present. Biological anthropology focuses on human evolution and adaptation. Our students have access to the Duckworth Collections, and on the table in front of me, I have a gorilla skull, which actually allows us to look at human evolution and adaptation over time. Also ecology. Next, I have a skull of someone who suffered from leprosy. We study this disease in the past, but we also need to study it today in the present because over 200,000 people are affected with this disease. This is an example of how we study trauma in the past. This Roman soldier suffered multiple sword wounds before being decapitated. We also study children in the past to get a better understanding of growth and development. This medically prepared specimen actually has the front of the mandible and maxilla removed, showing you the dental arcade, also known as the alveolus. What's interesting about this is you can actually see the development of the tooth, and here you can see the molar has not yet erupted into the gum line. As you can see, biological anthropology is a fascinating and diverse subject. To learn more about biological anthropology at Cambridge, visit our website.